been wanting to tell you. I've been trying to get up my courage for weeks. I don't want to hurt you, Carl, but I can't go on living like this. So that's it. Who is he? His name's Steve. The man you had dinner with Wednesday night? I saw you. You've known? I've seen you together before. Will you divorce me or shall I file? Divorce? People change, Carl. It just happened. Please, let me go. For this? For some crazy infatuation? No. Steve and I are in love. He's just using you. Can't you see it? I know it. Please stop seeing him. I, I love you, Bridget. I'm sorry, Carl. Is he married? Yes. Yeah, they usually are. There's nothing between them anymore. His wife's giving him a divorce? Yes. He wouldn't lie to me. No, just wait till he gets started. If he's married, then he's probably already started lying. He'll make up some story about how he can't divorce his wife and how he has to stop seeing you. No, that will never happen. He's getting a divorce. He said so, Carl. But if he can't, then we're gonna run away. He agreed to that? Yes, he did. There's nothing more to say. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Bridget, what's gotten into you? This is ludicrous. I belong with Steve. I'll love him as long as I live. Call me if you hear anything. Well, you certainly took your time, officer. I had to call him for backup and crowd control. Kind of crowded out there. Do you know this guy? Never saw him before. His name is C.J. Adams from Concord, according to the ID I found in his jacket up on the roof. Why do you have to come here for? Why couldn't he pick on some taller building in Antioch? Why did Camp Pinnell? Building's not that high, three stories at the most. Let's ask him when we get him in, huh? He says he has no family, but I called the Concord police. They're looking up all the Adams to see if they can come up with a relative or, or somebody that might know him. Well, I wouldn't count on it. The name's probably a phony. He's got a new jacket, no picture identification. He's even tore out the label. Do me a favor, will you? Have someone call over at Delta Memorial, send over a psychiatrist, and then show me how to get to the roof. I'm on it. sees you, he'll jump. Where's he at? On the ledge. To the right. No, he's not there. Oh, no, he jumped. Now, Hiya, fella. How do you get down there? You got quite a view, huh? There's a better one from the top of City Hall. I like this one. Hey, don't come any closer. You're not really gonna jump, are you? Yeah. Are things that bad? Yes. Things are that bad. Aren't you scared? Yeah. Here, take a drag of this. It'll help your nerves. What, so you could grab me? And go down with you? I never learned to fly. Here, toss it down. I'm, uh, 
Sorry you gotta jump. I mean nothing to you! No, but you're doing this on my beat. I got a promotion coming up. Sergeant. Cities expand, you know. You go, and my chances go with you. They can't blame you for what I do. You don't know my lieutenant. He doesn't like me. He say I pushed you. Means that much to you, huh? Yeah, not especially. It does mean an awful lot to my wife, though. Well, I'm sorry. Well, you got your own problems. Who are they down there? Just the police unit for crowd control and a fire truck, Mr. Abbott. Well, get rid of them! Make them go away! Oh, they wouldn't listen to me. You sent for them! No, I didn't send for them. You did! I thought you understood! I, I was beginning to trust you! You can! You can trust me, Mr. Adams. I gave you a cigarette, didn't I? Fall a lot faster than that, wouldn't I? Yeah? Well, get rid of them, then. Get them out of here. Go down there and tell them. You try any tricks. Any tricks? One move and I go. Are you going? Are you going or should I go? Hey, hey, I'll go, I'll go. I'll keep them away. Just promise not to jump, huh? What do you say? Tell them. 